Hey Aquas, welcome to your weekly love reading for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter, September 1st to the 11th. So for my newbies, hello. Uh, I always go over my meditative session and then I go ahead and get into the reading. So meditative sessions, I pick up energy in and around you. Um, so it could be energy that you are directly experiencing or someone that you're energetically connected to or someone in your environment, okay? So Aquas, I gotta be honest, I picked up on some sad stuff. I'm just being real, just being real. I didn't actually pick up on too much. What I did see, I saw crystals. So some of you could just be really getting into crystals right now for the first time, or you probably just bought some new crystals. I did see quartz. Uh, what's that cut though? It's a very specific cut. I don't have any samples here with me. Uh, I know it's a specific cut. It's like cylindrical and then it comes to a point. I know there's a specific, specific name for that cut, but it's not coming to me. Anyway, neither here nor there. Uh, I heard follow the yellow brick road. <laughs> I don't know if you're watching Wizard of Oz. I do feel this energy of kind of seeking though, like never ending, like con like conquest. So that was interesting. Um, I meant to say quest. Conquest came out. Is that a word? No, it is. It's a word. Conquest. Okay, interesting. So to conquer, to conquer something. Because uh, Aqua is this energy I was picking up on. I actually saw like an empty basket. Someone was carrying an empty basket. And it, to me, it just felt like this never ending journey of trying to fill one's basket and it just just not possible right it's like almost trying to fill a void that can't really be filled in a quest or a journey conquest keeps coming to me but now with that word conquest it's almost like someone trying to like go and conquer something yeah trying to conquer something going out into the world and conquering something there's also that energy going on here so that's all i picked up in your meditative session but that empty feeling man like Constantly seeking to fill the void. Constantly seeking to fill the void. A void that can't really be filled. Kind of sad. I know. Kind of sad. Keep in mind, Aquas, this could be your energy or someone you're connected to, okay? Um, so let's go ahead and get into your readings. So for those who are new to my channel, keep in mind these are very general readings. They will not resonate with everybody. Messages that come through are for those who really need to hear them. So this might not be your week for this. This might not be your message for this week, but that's okay. By all means, check out any other reader we have on YouTube. We have a lot of really good ones. We're also working with energy. So keep that in mind. The energy can be vice versa, okay? Um, it could pertain to you, um, your partner, someone in your immediate environment, family, friends, coworkers, what have you. If it's resonating, but the if it's resonating, but the roles are reversed, just switch it up. Sorry, I just saw something. Spiritual something, whatever. Anyway. Um, also guys don't get caught up on the gender uh where we all have masculine feminine energy uh so don't get hung up on the gender of the cards okay all right let's do this any messages for aquarius any messages for aquarius regarding love september 1st to the 11th any messages for aquarius regarding love september 1st to the 11th any messages for aquarius regarding love September 1st to the 11th. Any messages for Aquarius regarding love? September 1st to the 11th. Any messages for Aquarius regarding love? September 1st to the 11th. Oh, 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 okay. Ooh, wow. Wow. Five of Cups in reverse. Scorpionic energy with the Three of Cups. Cap uh, Cancer? Maybe you're dealing with a Capricorn, or you could have Capricorn in your chart, uh, or you could be a Cusper. That was crazy how that came out. Three of Cups, Cancerian energy. So someone's regaining hope of reconciliation. Someone is bringing hope and joy back into their life. The quest for happiness. That's what I just got. The quest for happiness. Whether it's actually seeking a reunion, or just seeking a new social circle, or seeking more just social energy. But I do feel it's about happiness at the end of the day. Coming out of depression and coming into joy. Coming out of the dark to come into the light. I like that energy. I like that. Any messages for Aquarius regarding love? September 1st to the 11th. Any messages for Aquarius regarding love? Ooh, but then we have a Ten of Cups in a verse. Piscean energy. There's still a lot of unhappiness. This is the hope. This is the hope. This is the journey. This is the quest. The end game. The end goal is a Three of Cups energy, joy and light and happiness and leaving an energy of darkness, leaving an energy of depression, leaving an energy of sadness and grief. However, still being on that journey is a Ten of Cups in reverse energy, right? Because it's not attained yet. It's not attained. Definitely not attained yet. 
Someone could also be dealing with um, a very depressive home environment or depressive family energy. Um, in that case, they're probably dealing with some family squabbles. Could also apply to roommates. Any messages for Aquarius regarding love, September 1st to the 11th? Um, King of Pentacles in reverse. <laughs> but I just keep getting this heavy sorrow energy. Taurus energy could also be earth or air. Yeah, I feel like King of Pentacles energy here is very unhappy right now as they try to seek out happiness. Like they're trying to figure it out. It's like they're trying to figure out how to become happy. Like they see people who are happy and it's like, how? How, how are you so happy? You know, it's that kind of energy. It's that kind of energy. How are you so happy? Is it money? This person, I think, has tried to make money, like basically bring them happiness. Um, it's not money. I thought money was the answer to happiness. It's not. Okay, so it's not money. Is it pleasures? Is it luxury? It, it's like, is it image? It's like this person, it's like seeking out happiness and not realizing that happiness comes from within. Oh, this is sad. She's constantly trying to fill that void. Oh, God, where is this going, guys? This person constantly tries to fill that void that can't be filled. Because they're constantly trying to seek out happiness and fun and joy, not realizing that that's something that comes from within. That's not something you can buy. That's not something that you can just grab. That's not something that you go and seek out. That's something that happens from within. But this person's missing something. This person has a void and it's a wound. And that's what needs to be healed. That's what needs to be addressed. And I don't think this person realizes it. Wow. Any messages for Aquarius regarding love? September 1st to the 11th. Any messages for Aquarius regarding love, September 1st to the 11th? Wow, guys, that's it. Overall energy, we have a Queen of Wands in reverse. Aries energy could also be fire or water. Underneath that, we have a Four of Wands in reverse. Aries energy, ooh, and then we have a Four of Cups. Cancerian energy. There's a broken foundation here. Someone could have gone through a breakup. This person could have gone through a breakup. Um, I do feel like these are two separate people with the Queen of Wands in reverse and the King of Pentacles in reverse. Someone is also very angry about this. I'm getting more angry than anything. Like, angry something ended. Angry something ended. But then the Four of Cups, it's just like, it's almost like it goes from anger to discontent. So this person is clearly getting over it fairly quickly. This person's getting over it fairly quickly. Days. I'm actually hearing days. It only took this person days to kind of get over the, sh the first shock of anger to go to a place of just almost bored about it. Bored about it. I also feel this king. Did this king end it? I ha Yeah, I have a feeling this king actually ended this foundation or ended this relationship, whatever it may be, in your scenario. A foundation is basically something that had to be built. This king tore it down. This king took it down. This king tore it down. It's almost like this king thought, okay, this queen will fill my void. No, I was wrong. Money will fill my void. No, that was wrong. Alcohol will fill my void. No, that was wrong. Oh, God feel for this person. I think even this king became very um, not not satisfied with this queen and whatever situation they had. I feel like a sense of like dissatisfaction, major disappointment. Like, my God, will anything make me happy? If this person couldn't make me happy, what the fuck is going to make me? Sorry. <laughs> what the, what's going to make me happy? Sorry. Ever since we got into Virgo energy, I've been cussing like a sailor. I don't know why. I just I just have. I mean, I cuss a lot anyway. It feels a little intense lately. Anyway, coming back to this king. So they're in a quest to attain that happiness. It wasn't with this Queen of Wands. It wasn't with this Queen of Wands. It wasn't with other shit. It wasn't with materials. They're on a quest to figure that out. To go from depression to happiness. To go from darkness to the light. It comes from within. I think it's going to be a while so this king realizes that. It comes from within. Okay? Uh, let's look at uh, this three of, three of Cups. Not Three of Pentacles. <laughs> three of Cups. Let's look at this Three of Cups. This is their end goal. This is what they want to attain. Tell me about the Three of Cups. Tell me about the Three of Cups. For Aquarius, regarding love, September 1st to the 11th. Tell me about the Three of Cups for Aquarius, regarding love, September 1st to the 11th. Tell me about the Three of Cups for Aquarius, regarding love, September 1st to the 11th. God, I just realized they're practically levitating. <laughs> it's like, I don't see where they're jumping from. It looks just like they're just hovering. <laughs> I don't know why I'm being drawn to that. I don't know why I'm being drawn to that. Tell me about the Three of Cups for Aquarius regarding love. 
September 1st to the 11th. Let's see here. Mm. Mm. Whew. Yeah. So we have Five of Cups upright, Scorpionic energy with the Queen of Wands upright. Aries energy could also be fire or water. Then we have Temperance in reverse, Sagittarian energy, and Strength in reverse, Leo energy. Heavy hitters here, heavy major arcanas. You know, it's so fascinating because this king is clearly trying to come out of a Five of Cups energy to a Three of Cups energy. But with temper, no, that's exactly how it came out. That's exactly how it came out. I feel like when this Queen of Wands was around, uh, Aqua, whoever you are in the situation, I'm just speaking in the court cards to not confuse anybody. So this has now ended. This Queen of Wands feels like they're not really in the picture anymore, okay? But when they were, it's like there was such a heavy sense of sadness, such a, such a heavy sense of depression, major imbalance. And it's funny I mentioned drinking. I feel a little bit of drinking with this energy, overindulgence and strength in reverse, not having the confidence, not being happy, not having courage to really go for happiness and just getting kind of forever sinking down into this kind of spiral of depression while this Queen of Wands is in the picture, yeah, I feel really strongly this king thought this queen of wands would make them happy and fill that void and quickly realized that was not the case. That was not the case. But five of cups is also mourning. It's not just depression and sadness. It's mourning over something that's been lost. But they were feeling this while the queen of wands is around. I feel like this king gave up, gave something up. I feel like this king gave something up, um, made space made space this king made space and had to sacrifice something to allow for this queen of wands to come into the picture to be a part of the picture i really feel like a sacrificial energy like i'll give this up for the queen of wands i'll give this up to have the queen of wands it's okay because i'll be happy anyway and they weren't they quickly re realized they weren't tell me more about the three of cups for aquarius regarding love september 1st to the 11th Tell me about the Three of Cups for Aquarius regarding love, September 1st to the 11th. Tell me more about the Three of Cups for Aquarius. Oh, that's it. Overall energy. Oh, yeah. Eight of Wands, Sag energy. Ooh. And Four of Wands, Aries energy. And then we go to a Nine of Wands, more Sag energy. Holy shit. And the Hierophant, Taurian energy. So this is, try again, this is this king's energy. This is the overall energy for the three of cups. The end goal for this king. Joy, happiness, light. Joy, happiness, and light. The chase for eternal happiness to finally hit that happiness goal, right? They want to be happy because they realized they like, a person wasn't filling that void. A person they really thought would fill that void. A person they really thought would fill that void, realizing drinking wasn't doing it, other materials weren't doing it, and it's like, okay, this one person, I'll, I'll give this thing up for this person, it's okay, they'll fill, fill my void anyway, and then no, it didn't, it didn't, it didn't. In fact, I think this queen actually forced this king to kind of spiral a little bit more out of control is what I'm getting, but overall, look, this is what they want. This is more of the energy of what they want in the end of the day. More of this Three of Cups energy in detail. Eight of Wands, Four of Wands, Nine of Wands, and the Hierophant. This is a fight. A fight for stability. And with Eight of Wands, that's forward movement, that's action. It's also communication, but it is action first and foremost because it's Wands. Action towards stability, not giving up the fight for stability, and committing to that with the Hierophant. Committing to that. I think this person really wants to be married. And I worry about that a little bit because like I said, this person's on a quest for happiness. And again, that comes from within. It's not a quest, it's from within. It's right there inside of you. You just have to figure out how to tap into it. But I think this person really has the idea like, well, if I'm married, then I'll be happy. No, <laughs> I mean, it's the same concept of the Queen of Wands, right? If I give this up for the Queen of Wands, it's okay because the Queen of Wands will make me happy. If that didn't work, why would being married work, right? But that's definitely what some of these kings are thinking. Let's move on to this king's energy. So King of Pentacles in reverse and then the Ten of Cups in reverse. I actually really want to look at the king specifically to kind of look at what they're thinking a little bit more um, and where they're at because I just feel this energy of like really not thinking things clear, not thinking things through, not really being clear headed and definitely not being grounded. Okay, I'm gonna use Gilded Tarot to clarify. Tell me about this King of Pentacles in reverse. 
tell me about this King of Pentacles in reverse for Aquarius regarding love. Ooh. Oh. Oh. Oh, I see. <laughs> you know, guys, this third party shit is kind of like, is kind of, is, is just, I know third parties happen and at third parties doesn't always have to be cheating. So I just really want to emphasize that. Oh, come back. Third parties don't always, don't always have to be cheating, but Aqua, I've only done earth signs today and everyone's had a third party <laughs> situation kind of going on. Third parties can be meddling energies. They don't, again, doesn't have to be cheating, but it's clearly another third party scenario. King of Pentacles, Taurian energy could also be Earth or Air, Wheel of Fortune, Jupiter energy, Ten of Cups in reverse, Piscean energy, and then we have the Queen of Cups. Cancerian energy could also be Pisces or Scorpio. Yeah, this king is not happy. I feel like this king has another person in mind of someone else that's like, oh, yeah, okay, it wasn't the Queen of Wands. Maybe it'll be the Queen of Cups. The Queen of Wands didn't make me happy. The Queen of Cups will make me happy. Lord have mercy. Oh, that's exactly what this king thinks. I need the wheel to turn forward because I'm not happy with this Ten of Cups in reverse energy, right? Double confirmation. I'm not happy with this Ten of Cups in reverse energy. I need a Queen of Cups. That's what I need. I need someone who's so full of love and so full of nourishment. That's the person that will fill my void. Oh, that's the person who will fill my empty basket. Oh my God, this is sad. This is sad. Whether they actually know this person or not, it can also be an ideal of a person, like, you know, fitting the bill. Like, okay, the Queen of Wands didn't do A, B, C, D, E. They just did F through M. A Queen of Cups will do A through M. That's what I need. I just don't like it. I really just don't like it. All right. Tell me more about the King of Cups in a... <laughs> King of Pentacles in reverse. Oh, King of Cups. Interesting. Tell me more about the King of Pentacles in reverse. For Aquarius, I just heard Taurus. Hold on, let me get some water. <clears throat> hmm. Tell me about the King of Pentacles in reverse. Tell me about the King of Pentacles in reverse for Aquarius regarding love, September 1st to the 11th. Ten of Pentacles in reverse. Virgo energy. This person is so unhappy and just feels like they have a lot of instability in their life. And look what's at the bottom, King of Cups. <laughs> Ten of Pentacles in a verse. I think this king, to end things with this queen, whoever this queen was to this king, uh, it could have been a marriage. It could have been a marriage that they had to end. It could have been a living situation they had to walk away from. It could have been like, it just feels like a long-term investment is really how it feels. Something that required a lot of time, a lot of effort, and for some, a lot of money on behalf of this king. And they had to give that up to walk away from this Queen of Wands. Because they, they basically like, not no pun intended, put all their eggs in one basket. <laughs> That's how it feels. They put all their eggs in one basket and they had to give up a lot. They had to give up a lot to do this. They had to give up a lot to do this, to make space. They told me very clearly to make space for this Queen of Wands, all to come to find out that didn't fill this person's void. Tell me about the King of Pentacles in reverse. Tell me about the King of Pentacles in reverse for, I keep hearing Taurus, it's making me crazy. Tell me about King of Pentacles in reverse for Aquarius regarding love, September 1st to the 11th. Tell me more about the King of Pentacles in reverse. Tell me more about the King of Pentacles in reverse for Aquarius regarding love, September 1st to the 11th. Oh boy. Oh, there's the Three of Pentacles. That's funny. Oh, I said that earlier too. Tell me about King of Pentacles in reverse. Okay, what do we got here? Ew. Really? So now we have Page of Wands in a verse and Page of Cups in a verse. Oh. Focus, there we go. There could be children involved here. There could definitely be children involved. This Queen of Cups could have a child because we see the Page of Cups as well. Or this Queen of Wands could have had a child. Or again, there could be a couple children involved in this, but not necessarily. I'm getting gossip, actually. I'm getting gossip about dishonesty. Gossip about dishonesty led to led to this king walking away from this queen. That's what I'm getting with that. Yeah. This king not only didn't not only realized, okay, this queen doesn't exactly this queen of wands doesn't exactly fill my basket. This queen of wands does not fill my void. All come to find out some gossipy stuff about dishonesty and lies even further cemented that even even further cemented that for this king. And they were just like, all right, I'm done. I'm walking. 
I'm done and I'm walking. And then we have this three of pentacles, Capricorn energy with the four of cups, which is Cancerian energy here. I feel a lot of passivity with this. Oh, there we go. I feel a lot of passivity with this. Three of pentacles is building, it's discussions, it's making plans, right? And four of cups. I feel like this king wants to make plans with this queen of cups or with someone who fits that bill of a queen of cups. But the four of cups tells me it's like, they're being very passive about it. They're being very passive about it. It's like they want the happiness, but they don't want to do the work. And they want to chase, but they also kind of want someone to come to them. It's like they don't really want to lift a finger. This is so fascinating. So they're on this quest for happiness that they can't actually find because it comes from within, but this person doesn't realize that. They know the kind of person they want to try next <laughs> to fill their void. Again, for some, they're even thinking, I'll just get married. I'll just get married because that's going to fix all my problems. Um, but as they're going on this quest, again, to find something that's just within themselves, deep down inside themselves, they're not really being proactive about it. They're being very passive. Overall energy, six of pentacles. Taurian, oh God, Taurian energy. Um, I remember I was picking up on all that money. Money will make me happy. Money will make me happy. Money will buy it for me. Oh, man. If this King of Pentacles actually has a Queen of Cups that they know, because like I said, for some, it's just like the person they think would fit the bill. Like, okay, I tried a Queen of Wands. I need I need a Queen of Cups. I'll just go find one. For some, they're like, I'll just go find a Queen of Cups. For some of these Kings, they know a Queen of Cups that they would like to try out to see if they would fill this void. But I feel this energy of buying because like Six of Pentacles is like a giving energy. It's like it's giving something. It's gift giving. Um, handing something over. It's also about reciprocity. But I feel really strong giving and buying. It just, it just feels like, okay, I don't really want to do the work. I don't really want to do the work. I really don't want to do the leg work. I'll just, I'll, I'll just give them something. I'll just give them stuff. I'll just give them stuff. I'll just buy them a ring. God. This is really sad, guys. Sorry, I like I usually don't get so bummed by readings like this. I almost want to do it over, to be honest with you, but I I never I don't like doing that because the messages come out for a reason, right? This King of Pentacles just thinks I'll just buy my happiness. I'll just buy my Queen of Cups since the Queen of since I was wrong that the Queen of Wands wouldn't fill my void. Queen of Cups will fill my void. I'll just make I'll just make the Queen of Cups very pampered and feel very financially comfortable. Then they'll never leave. Wow. Then they'll never leave. Yeah, this person's really thinking like marriage or buying someone will keep them committed. Oh, that's so sad. It's really sad because they're really unhappy. They're really unhappy. And they don't really want to put in the energy in finding happiness. They'd rather buy it. They'd rather buy it. When really happiness comes from within, this person doesn't even understand that. Wow. Okay. Sorry, guys. I didn't mean for it to be such a downer. I just, you know, that someone had to hear this. Someone clearly had to hear this. You know, maybe for those of you where you're a queen of cups and you're approached by this king of pentacles, beware. <laughs> oh, that just reminded me of Winnie the Pooh. Beware. Beware. <laughs> Sorry. I'm silly. I'm really silly today. Okay. Let's go ahead and get some advice. Sorry, my voice is very, very raspy today. Um, any advice? And it's just gotten worse, apparently. Any advice for my aquas? Any advice for my aquas? Regarding this spread? <laughs> Sound like a frog in my throat. Uh, any advice for my aquas regarding this spread? 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 Let's see here. Oh, interesting. Whale spirit, trust the great mystery. 56 breaking down to an 11. Oh, this is a need. This is a need. Wow, this is very straightforward, guys. This is basically spirit yelling at this king of pentacles saying, go within. <laughs> go within. 
You can't find happiness in a store. You can't find happiness with just money. You can't like just go walking down the street hoping happiness hits you in the face. Like it comes from within and you're only gonna get that by diving deep within yourself. I. Any other advice? Let's see. Yeah, sometimes life stings. Wasp spirit, 64 is a cyclical energy, so closing a cycle. <sighs> Getting to completion. Kings, any, if I have any kings watching, you're only going to find happiness by actually going within and doing the work. By going within yourself, looking at yourself, facing yourself. Happiness comes from within. You can't find it outside of yourself. And if you try to keep filling that void with money, relationships, substances, you're going to keep falling back into this Five of Cups energy. Just plain and simple. If you want to close out this cycle of always feeling at a loss or being sad or being upset, feeling empty, feeling lonely, you got to go within. You got to face any wounding and pain that you have. Just like the wound we picked up earlier. Any advice for my aquas regarding this spread? Any advice for my aquas regarding this spread? Oh, okay. Let's see what we got here. Oh, all right. I want to get all the cards out here, but we got two more that I haven't gone over yet. Any advice for my aquas regarding this spread? Any advice for my aquas regarding this spread? Oh, okay. That's it. All right. So now we have, if I can pick it up. Oh, I'm out of focus. Oh, I'm sorry, guys. Hi. <laughs> so we have Turkey Spirit, Give with Grace and Gratitude, 61, breaking down to a 7. And White Raven Spirit, Trust in the Magic, 66, a ma... <laughs> so to say a magic number. <laughs> oh, man, that was a rough eye twitch. A master number. Excuse me. A master number. Giving with Grace and Gratitude is about being high class, taking the high road, being, being very composed, very tactful about something and also modesty a lot of modesty and with this white raven spirit this is like this is actually the last card in the deck it has a lot of divinity it's associated with it and it is about trusting in ether in the highest levels of ether and the highest levels of source and your spirit team and trusting that they really have your back at hand it's really about putting your faith in what is meant for you as well that's the advice here Yeah, that's the advice here. Have humility, have modesty, and to go within. Have humility and modesty and to go within. Why do I feel like this is more of a Queen of Cups energy? I feel like this is more for the Queen of Cups energy. Oh, this is interesting. This is the energy of the Queen of Cups for those who, kings who actually have a Queen of Cups that they know versus like, this is exactly the person that will fit the bill. Let me go find them. This Queen of Cups, for those, again, where this king actually knows a Queen of Cups energy that they want to try, try this to have their void filled by this person. Oh, I just, my mind just went to the gutter getting, <laughs> this is not a sexual thing, guys. It's not a sexual thing. This Queen of Cups is very high class. This Queen of Cups is very composed, is very high vibrational to the highest levels of spirituality, at least to this, per to this person's extent, to this person's extent is what I'm getting. Because, like, that's a never-ending journey, right? But this person's very spiritual. This person has very intense intuition. This person has a lot of love because they, 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 they're, they're just high vibe. They're high vibe. They've worked on their wounds. They've cleared space out for themselves. And they have a lot of self-love for themselves. And when you have self-love for yourself, you can be happy. And it's, re it's really hard to take happiness away from someone who loves themselves. This king looks up to this queen, I can feel it. For those who actually know a queen of cups, this king looks up to this queen, maybe even idolizes of them a little bit, a little bit too much, like wanting to be more like that. Like, oh, that person will fill me with self-love because they have so much of it. You know, it's that kind of thinking, but again, it comes from within, inside yourself. So kings, follow the advice. Go within yourself, dive within yourself, face those wounds, and close out this cycle of filling a void that can't be filled. Overall energy, we have horse spirit. Freedom is yours, 33, a master number. Kings, you can have happiness. You can't run and find it. You can't run it down and chase it and conquer it and capture it. You can have ultimate freedom by having that deep dive within yourself and having ultimate self-love. That's how you have freedom. That's true happiness and true freedom. You want true happiness and freedom? 
I feel like this Queen of Cups has the true happiness and freedom. If you want what this Queen of Cups has, you can't have it by marrying that. You can't have it. The hell? You <laughs> hearing all these bumps and shit. You can't have it by marrying that. You can't have that by being with that. You can't you can't just embody that person. You gotta go within if you really want to be free and if you really want to be happy. Okay? Wow. That was freaking intense. A really intense reading, guys. Like I said, I know it feels a little bit like a downer, but clearly someone out there really had to hear this message, especially for any Queen of Cups out there who are going to be getting approached by King of Pentacles, okay? All right, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed that. Don't forget to go on Patreon. Check that out along with Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter, and I will see you guys later. Namaste, Aquas.